Hello there and welcome to another Flat Earth debunking video. Now in this video what I'm going to show you is the result of an experiment I did today myself. And this is an experiment that you can do to test whether the Earth is a sphere or whether it's flat. And the results of this experiment are whatever way they go, they, they are conclusive. Now I'm not going to justify why I'm saying that in this video. I want to make another video following on from this video to explain what I'm saying in this one more fully. So in this video, all I'm going to do is tell you how to do the experiment yourself and show you the results of my experiment. And if you can get the result within an accuracy of about a degree or so, then that's good enough. I managed to get it within about a degree or so when I did it today. And basically, what, to do this experiment, all you need is some basic information you can get online, and you also need a smartphone, like an iPhone or an Android, and you download an app called a Theolodite. And with the Theolodite, you can do the following experiment I'm going to show you. So the first of all, you need to find out some basic information. Now, what you need is to know the latitude of your location. Now, I'm in Scotland and my latitude is about, I've got up here, it's about 56.5 degrees north. You also need to know what time solar noon is at your location. Now, for my location, I've got up here, it's 11.59. And you also need to know the latitude of the sun on that day. Now the latitude of the sun is 20 degrees 57 minutes so that's about 20.9 degrees. Now to do this experiment what you do is you work out the difference in latitude between your location and the sun. Now as I said my location is about 56.5 degrees. The sun is about 20, that's 56.5 degrees north. The sun's about 20.9 degrees south. So the difference between the latitude of the sun and the latitude of where I am at the moment is about 77.4 degrees. Now you only need to do this to one decimal place. That's plenty accuracy. Now, you can use this number to predict how high the sun will be at the sky at your location at midday. Now that number that I've got there, 77.4 degrees, that's what's called, that predicts what's called the angle of um, incidence of sunlight. Now the angle of incidence is the angle measured against the vertical. Now what we're interested in is what's called the angle of elevation. So what you do is you take that number away from 90. So you do 90 minus that number, which gives me 12.6 degrees. Okay, so that's what you do to do this experiment. You work out your latitude, or you find out your latitude. You find out the latitude of the sun on the day that you're doing it. You work out how far south or how far north the sun is from your location. So the sun is 77.4 degrees south of where I am. You take that number away from 90. So you do, I did 90 minus 77.4, which gives me 12.6 degrees. So that means that I would predict using this information that the sun would reach an angle of elevation of about 12.6 degrees at midday at my location. So what I did is I went out with my iPhone and a Theolodite app on my phone and I took some screenshots of me measuring the angle of elevation of the sun. <clears throat> now like I said, you know, you're only really, if you can get this within about a degree of accuracy, that's fine. So what I can do is I can go through some screenshots I got. So you can see the time is 11.59. I'll just explain the information here. This is the time. This number here, that's my angle of, that's my latitude at my location. This here is measuring the angle of elevation of the sun. 
Now that's the, uh, how high the sun is as an angle measured against the horizontal. So you can see here, this is saying 12.6. Um, so if I scroll through a few of the photographs, I, a few of the screenshots I took, you can get an overall impression of roughly the angle of elevation of the sun. And you can see I'm, this is the, um, the direction. So you can see I'm almost looking directly due south. Now this angle here is the, um, I really should have got that to exactly to zero to get this totally accurately. So I, it was quite difficult to do that. So so this, this, this is a wee bit out, so this isn't going to be perfect, but it's still pretty close. So I think you can agree, I'm talk. this is measured, this is saying that the sun, if I'm right in the middle of the sun there, it's about 13.5 degrees. Now I predicted 12.6 degrees. So I predicted within a degree what I measured it to be. Now when you're, whenever you're doing an experiment, so you're measuring, there's always going to be um, errors that come up due to various factors. There's always tolerance errors. I don't know what the tolerance error is in this theolodite, but within a degree, that's pretty accurate. Now. If you can go out any day of the year and use the latitude of your location and the latitude of your sun to predict the angle of elevation of the sun at midday, any day of the year within a degree of accuracy, then the earth is not flat. It's impossible. Now, I know I'm not justifying at the moment. Like I said, I want to make a video following up on this to explain that. But this experiment is conclusive proof either way, whether the sun, the earth is flat or whether it's a sphere. If you can use your angle of elevation, sorry, if you can use your latitude and the latitude of the sun to predict the angle of elevation of the sun at midday within this sort of accuracy, and you can do that every day of the year, then the earth is a sphere. It cannot possibly be flat. And you can see that in the experiment I did today myself, I showed that I managed to predict the angle of elevation within one degree of where the sun was at midday. So this is very strong evidence that the Earth is a sphere.